Hi there, welcome to Matrix Script. If you're new here, my name is Idris. I make videos about React and React Native. Today, I've got an exciting tutorial for you. We are going to build a Google Places API autocomplete using React Native Expo. Let's dive in. Drag your folder and drop it on the VS Code and then open the terminal. When you initialize a new project using npx create expo app at latest, by default it initialized the project using TypeScript. I want things simpler cause the app is simple. Therefore I go with JavaScript rather than TypeScript. So to create your project in JavaScript instead of TypeScript, you would add hyphen hyphen template blank and then hit enter. Let it to download necessary files. Now let's enter to the my app folder by typing cd my hyphen m and then hit enter. Next, we will install the required dependencies. The first dependency is .env. If you don't have idea about it, I'll give you information about it when I use it in the project. For now, just copy the installation command and paste it in the terminal. The second dependency is React Native Google Places Autocomplete. Copy the installation command. We will come back to this uh, documentation when implementing the actual functionality. Come back to the VS Code terminal and paste the installation command in the terminal. All right, let's start our app by typing npm start. Press A for Android. First of all, let's modify the text here and then get rid of these typings. Let's set the background color to dark blue with padding top set to 60. Padding bottom to 25 and align items to center. Next, we will style the text by giving it a name of Google Places and set the text color to white. For the status bar, let's change its style to light and save the changes. Returning to the container object, let's set border bottom left radius and border bottom right radius to 55 and for round corners we will also add shadow with the shadow color set to a hash 000 shadow offset with the width 0 and height 2 shadow opacity to 0 0.1 shadow radius to uh, 10 and elevation set to 5 to enhance the readability, let's increase the font size of the Google Places text to 20 and set the font width to bold. It's time to implement Google Places Autocomplete. Let's go back to the documentation of Google Places Autocomplete. From here, let's copy this line and paste it into VS Code. Then copy these lines of code and paste them under this view, wrapping the code with the React fragments. It's better to place this Google Places autocomplete component in a view for better styling. Let's save it. Well, the component works, but let's style it properly. Type styles. Here I'm going to target text input. So now give it the name of text input. Then copy the name and paste it here. Let's give it the following styles. Give it a border width of 1, border color to hash CCC, height to 50, border radius to 25, padding left to 25, shadow color to hash 000, shadow offset with the width 0 and height 1, shadow opacity with 0 0.1, shadow radius to 3 and uh, elevation to 2. Yeah. Now let's adjust the width of the input text field by targeting the container object. 
give it the name input container copy the name and uh, paste it here set the word to 95 percent in order to center the input text field target the view give it a flex of one and align item to center now i want to change the border color when i press the text input field for better user experience so let's create a use state with the name is focused and set is focus and set its value to false initially make sure to import use state as well now let's copy the styling of text input paste it here change only the border color to dark blue and also change its name to text input focused now render it based on a condition if is focused is true then display text input focused otherwise display text input let's change the value of used it to true to see if it is working or not okay i have forgotten to add styles before text input focused bring the changes and then save it great it is now working let's target the text input props to change the border color dynamically there are two properties one called on focus which takes a callback function where we set the value of set is focus to true and the second property called on blur which also takes a callback function where we set the value of set is focus to false so now when you press on the input text field it changes the color of its border when you press anywhere else it turns to its initial styling finally the styling is now finished in order to work with the google places autocomplete component you need an api key for that i have a separate video on how to get your api key you can find the link in the description below pause the video go there and get your api key now create a new file named .env we use a .env file for security reasons and because we often push our code to github we don't want our secret keys to be included in the repository therefore we use a .env file to manage our environment variables securely so type api underscore key is equal to and then paste your api key here without any spaces save the file and then close it we have installed the env dependency but we haven't configured it yet let's go back to the env documentation and copy these lines of code now go back to vs code open the babel.config.js file paste the code under the presets and delete these lines of code then save the file and go back to app.js in app.js import the api key from the env you can console log your api key just to make sure it is picked up correctly then type the api key here as api underscore key that's it it will work now for now let's get rid of this line if you want you can store the address in a state as well so that you can use it later first let's declare our state with the name address and set address here type set address and pass the details.description 
details give you the full detail about the place you have selected from the drop down while details dot description only shows the complete address of that place first let's console log the details hit the complete result which is coming from details you can see that details as an object which contains description if you want only the complete address then select the description from the object now let's console log the details dot description here's the complete address let's include a background image as well put this code inside the image background and give it the path of the image also give it a flex of one and then save the changes that's it for today's guys if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more tutorials see you next time yeah.